It's Base Trade TV. So is it just me, or is anyone else like really sad that Ryung lost that game? I mean, real talk. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. But uh, we find ourselves in game number five, and this could possibly be the last one. Ryong on his last life, guys, but if there's one guy I've seen come back from desperate situations, it is certainly Ryong, so fingers across he could do it. Spawning here, though, currently leading 3-1 at the moment in this best of seven. One game away from victory in the lower left corner of the map, the blue Terran player, Innovation. Yep, right as the red Terran player, it is Ryong. So I just want to say real quick, guys, Again, Star was free to play and all this wonderfulness, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the matches so far. If there's one thing that's interesting about the game, is by the slight tweaks here and there, whether it's adjusting the game's speed, for those who don't know, by the way, it's slower by 8%, not a significant amount, but a small amount, uh, whether it's increasing the mineral yield gains, or just the, the changing of units in general, Star is definitely an, a very entertaining, very different taste of StarCraft 2, and I hope that maybe if you're inspired to play yourself, you'll at least come back for more in the future. The Ladder Cup Season 1 uh, finished up just recently, and I'm sure Ladder Cup Season 2 will be starting sometime this summer. So definitely plenty of opportunities for you to get your chance to shine in the Starbo community or at least sit back and enjoy it for future uh, future events. Again, most of everything organized Starbo related though can be found on StarboMod.com. It's where the ladder is. It's where all this kind of spurred from. It's where updates are posted. Absolutely check out the website, guys, because without them, we wouldn't have this really cool game mod. Well, no shenanigans so far for innovation. I think that didn't go as well as he would have hoped, even though he did end <laughs> I mean, up winning. Yeah, I mean, on one hand, can you complain? You won the game. But on the other, it was so desperately close that you very well could have lost. I, that banshee. That banshee. Right? Those banshees, a, actually. It, it's worth noting, too. Like, Ryung, I, I think there was a couple of moments where he, he really could have pulled a victory there. But, like, whether it's being tentative, whether it's the SCV pulls that scared him, whether the Marines just weren't numerous, whatever the case may be, I just hope that uh, we never see someone stuck in that situation again. <laughs> now, you know what a... really actually killed him was taking that, that middle base. I think that's what literally killed him. But, anyways, no well, about I mean, that. If he didn't take it, though, Marines had scouted the other ones. He would have been found out, right? Yeah, but you never, you're never able to push out because you got to deal with that Banshee that Rung had. Like, That's, that was a problem. That is true. I actually hadn't considered that. But it's actually curious, yeah. too. Banshees, which were kind of scolded and forgotten and sworn off in Starbo, uh, through three different games now, have really influenced the outcome you in know, a big way. When I was playing Starbo for the first time in TVT, and I played, and I was like, this is like, someone did like a Reaper and a Vulture into Banshee, and I was like, this is the most OP shit ever. <laughs> like, no thank you, and I like Rage Crit. So I don't know, I know one else likes the Banshees, and I'm glad these guys are using them. Whoa! Whoa! Well, you know whoa, who likes bro. Banshees? Whoa, Freaking bro. Ryung. Is this, uh, is, does the R in Ryung stand for rough? Is that what's happening right now? We got two port Banshee coming out of this. Something I've never, ever even heard of talking to the other Terran players in Starbo. Axiom, you're rough. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, this is just, I think this is like the evolution of the series where Young starts off with like, oh, Banshee sounds like a good idea. And then Image is like, that's a really good idea. And then both think it's a good idea. And now Young's just like, you know what, Banshee, the best flipping thing ever to happen in this game. Oh dear, I've messed up a little bit here. Um, I have to cancel the bets, guys. You'll see this go off in chat and hear me talk about it later. I totally forgot this is a best of seven, not a best of five. So I set the bets incorrectly. So everyone's wow. been refunded their partoofs from that bet, and I do apologize. Someone was going to win big partoofs. Well, Don't no, they couldn't have because there was no four anything victory. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody would have won in the end. Um, anyways, Vulture will come across, but I'll pick off the oh, Marine. Again, oh. my sincerest apologies about that, guys. we got to start for the very last match. He's going to get into the main. Oh! Get into the main. Yeah, that, oh, was, that was all the Marines that were supposed to be in the bunker. Now, okay, the he's Vultures might through. eventually break through. But hang on. Yeah, he's going. He's, oh, no, he's not. No, the banshees. The banshees will hold this. Well, no, it's it. Okay, yeah. Oh, Zero Marine like, may hold this. What is happening? Hercules Marine with three HP kills not one but two vultures with a high ground advantage. That fifty percent chance to miss is so real right now, Zombie Girl. <laughs> Holy. You know, I think I think Ryung is crying because he was so expecting that to be the end of the scouting, and then the barracks comes in and sees everything. Oh, but okay. <laughs> what, what does he do? Innovation's rushing out an engineering bay. There's a, there's one Viking down, but this is two banshees. This isn't one. This is not going to be easy to deal with. 
And let's not forget, oh, well, Ryung's expanding behind this. It's not like he's, he's completely gonna, all in. He's gonna catch to the Banshees, you know, a little bit before they can cloak and get on top of the SUVs. Ooh, second one. Uh, he's gonna have to pull cloak. and, like, buy time. Alright, so he's gonna lose this first Banshee. That's really unfortunate. Cloak not quite up for that second hit. You know, why did they add a nose on the Viking? It's the, uh, the hero Viking. The, uh, so oh. that's why the wings are bladed, too. And when it lands, okay. it's got, like, bayonets. Alright. All right, that makes sense. The uh, mercenary Viking. Just like, yeah, no, that? they randomly gave it a nose. Yeah, that's what happens. Like, what is with this? They had a like, facelift. Is there, like, something special? Like they have more HP, so they get a facelift. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, uh, man. Whatever. All right, so for Ryung, this kind of sucks that this didn't work out. But he, he doesn't dedicate to this. He sends out two more. Unfortunately, uh, Vikings will catch these ones too. Uh, I kind of wish he almost had left these at home. To be honest, it's really unfortunate. I was really excited to see this work out. I mean. We both kind of forgot about the whole. F um, we both and Ryung, I think, forgot about the possibility of a barrack scouting everything. Yeah. If this was regular StarCraft, that probably would have never happened. Yeah, exactly. That would have been a huge surprise. Innovation would have lost a lot of SCVs. As it is, he transfers into Mech. You know, he puts the, the tech labs on factories and, and he has a command center, so it wasn't like a huge big deal. And maybe, just maybe, if this game goes on to like 30 minutes, those. Those are going to be used as like dropship pumpers or you know battle cruisers even. Oh man, you just. I wish. I wish. <laughs> it could happen, yo. Like it, it, seriously, late game scenarios and split map where they start building up missile turrets, like lines across the middle and like you know everywhere around their bases, like stuff like that. That's when you can see battle cruisers to break those. I but, just you know, fantasize about them, but I feel like it's not going to. Like it's. It, these players just aren't like they're well matched. But just not well enough. Like they're, and also I think like it's just like they're too aggressive. I want to message kind of. innovation. If I spoke green, because here's the thing that's so frustrating about today's matchup. By the way, guys, love innovation. He's the politest, nicest guy, but he doesn't speak a lick of English. I've had to like use uh, a couple other people to translate messages to get him here today. Yeah. <laughs> if I if I could, I'd be like, Yo, you're up three one. Go battle cruisers. <laughs> you know, just quick PM. But nah, it wouldn't be too effective. Sadly, it's probably be like, what is he saying? I don't even know. Rift tried English, it wasn't effective. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, Ryung. He's hiding his Viking count, though. This is kind of cute. I like this. Ooh, he's going to pull a boxer, which, I mean, he was on Slayer, so. This should Not actually hate. catch Innovation pretty off guard. He's going to lose the air fight. So he'll be able to use the two Banshees, which is still a lot of DPS on the ground army, which is tanks and vultures. No Goliaths brought into this yet. And I think for Innovation, I mean, for Ryung, this is a really smart move because Innovation would never have made Goliaths. He would never have anticipated the follow-up of air after the failed air opening. This is uh, this is awkward. They're both passing each other. Yeah, it was meant to catch. Uh, this one Viking, unfortunately, is going to die for Ryung. Yeah, but Ryung's just gonna, he can defend with these Banshees. And he these can, Vikings. yeah. Innovation doesn't have a luxury, but Ryung is pulling everything back. Uh, the Banshees dive a little too eagerly, a little too early. But yeah, he loses all of his air forces. Uh, tanks can do a lot of damage, though, before they go down. SCVs kind of got to be pulled to safety, I think, for the time being. Vultures on top of this as well, but the tanks are going to go down. They try to siege up. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh the SCVs God, stacked up. That was a mistake. Oh, my God. Vulture's actually still uh, firing away at this. So, at the end of the day, now with twice the workers of his opponent, Innovation in a really good spot. All these SCVs so low that the Vultures will clean up what fewer left. A couple spider mines come down, but we all know these can't go off on workers, sadly. Half the SCV count for Ryong right now. Innovation also has a third that is being transported over already. But you know what? Innovation he lost. Army, though. Exactly, he lost his army. This counterattack. What's going to have to defend against it but two tanks and four Goliaths? That's not the scariest thing in the world. Uh, he could have the air superiority again so the Banshees could save him. Banshee. Uh, no, it's going to be doesn't. hard though. The, Vi doesn't. the Vikings no. will take out the Vikings first. It's important uh, that he doesn't go in here too gung-ho though. He's going to turn around immediately. Okay. Whew. He needs to siege those tanks. Build oh, a turret maybe. Well, Innovation doesn't know about the, the full-on counterattack. Uh, this missile turret will be canceled. Ooh, you wow. better watch it, son. You better watch. Oh, no. Oh, but the tank's got a siege on the top of the cliff. Vikings are pushed back. The Innovation's army's being segmented away from his base, away from where the production line is going to be. And uh, let's not forget, Ryung's actually pulled some SCVs to repair his tanks while this is going on. His tank line is, I, I feel, nearly unbreakable. SCVs pulled into this, but the Vikings land on the high ground to ride that fire. 
Uh, this is going to be a little bit of friendly fire, but no, actually, none on top of the siege tanks. One Banshee doing work on top of this. But Ryong looks like he may have just destroyed Innovation's army in a big way. A lot of his units are almost dead, but that's the key thing. Almost dead. Not dead yet. Unfortunately, the Banshee will not quite finish this off. Does dive back, but... Uh, man, this natural base is forfeit. Doesn't quite know about this third, however. So, Ryong may think he's doing a little bit more than he really is. Well, he saw the SUV transfer. Right? But that, could have just looked like, that may have just looked like a retreat to him, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, he's gonna check with these, um, and there's almost her over there, I believe. Oh, you can land. Oh, you can right. land. Yeah. Oh, god, yeah. Uh, yeah, Innovation about to lose not one, but two bases. Lifts this one up for safety, but the Vikings could finish it off if a fire doesn't. Yo, Vikings. Fire! 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 You got a job to do. Okay, well, oh, yeah. Innovation may have had that worker lead, but it's certainly dissipated at this point. Oh, god, yeah, geez. Um... Uh, uh, what does he do? What does he do? How do you break out of this position? He's, uh, he's so tightly packed in there. You're, you need you're drop ships. I mean, just choke. Yeah, you need. That's a good point. You need drop ships. Oh, and the commander did go down. He didn't repair it, even though it was well within range to do so. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna lose this one as well. Like the <laughs> awkward, up. like land up. <laughs> you know, what you do though, you land one Viking and just walk it underneath, so he can't land again. Either way, like when land one I Viking. I hate that, by the way. Like, I see so many people, this frustrates me to no end. They land the Viking, they lift the Viking, but there's two Vikings constantly landing and lifting, and I'm just like, land one of your there's Vikings that. and stick it underneath there's, so it can't land. There was like a gif of like 30 Vikings in one command center, and they were like just doing like that gain, like up, down, up, down, oh, up, goes down, down, and then the guy didn't like go down. And the oh, he tries to break this so. though. The high ground vision gonna be the favor of innovation for a second there, but not long enough. God. Tanks get broken, and innovation will turn this around. Now three to two, still one a game away from defeat, but he's bringing it back. <clears throat> I love, by the way, that both of these guys went for failed cheeses in the last games, and both of them were s shut down, but still won the game. In the end. So the way to win is to cheese and fail, right. but then uh, uh, step one, two, whatever the case may be. Innovations map pick now, guys. We're starting to run out of maps. Let's see what he goes for here. Um,